Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've requested that uh, you pass along any cool web resources that you might find. Uh, I may not have heard about them, as is the case for the one I'm about to show you. And uh, lucky for me, Matt Smith was paying attention. Uh, he said, hey, I thought I'd pass along this tool for creating tilt-shift images online. It's really incredible. You can upload an image uh, up to a certain size to the service, and it makes the objects in the photo appear miniature. Of course, certain photos work better than others. I've got a couple uh, that I've saved to my desktop just to give it a shot. The website is called Tilt Shift Maker. You don't need to register, as a matter of fact. The photos that I'm going to try uh, to use with this are uh, one of them. I, I took this photo last night at a place that I eat uh, sushi, and uh, it's a caterpillar roll. See, it's a, look, it's a little caterpillar. Kind of neat. All right, that's one I'm going to try to tilt shift. And then... Uh, here's a photo of San Francisco. So I'm going to try to make this real photo of San Francisco appear to be a miniature photo. So we're going to choose a photo to upload. Go to the desktop. And now uh, we're going to select, let's go with a caterpillar first. And then, of course, we can browse for a photo on the web. Press the upload picture. <clears throat> Give it a couple of seconds. Now uh, we have the original photo here and the tilt shift preview here. Uh, we can give it the focus size. And the band, as see, let me just scroll in here. So I can choose the band that's going to be in focus. I'm going to choose the head to be in focus. And uh, choose a, a wider focus size or a narrower focus size. I'm going to go with uh, somewhere right in the middle. We're going to choose to enhance colors. Preview. And then over here, we've got the finished image. Now, I don't know if you're able to detect, but the, the face here is a lot sharper than the tail. The tail is really blurry. Even that far away, I think you're able to tell that. So that's going to be the final image. So uh, I'm ready to go. Get full size. Click here to download your image. And in a couple of seconds, I will have the image now saved in my hard drive. I will have that file. It actually, it's in, it's in my downloads folder at this point in time. So we've done that. Uh, we can choose to upload another photo. Let's choose a file. And uh, go and let's use the city one. Let's see how well this works. Upload the picture. Now this photo I think is a it's a little bigger so it may take a, a few more seconds to actually upload oh I guess it didn't take that long at all and dang that really worked well like astoundingly well okay I'm not even going to uh, really tweak this too much uh, I, I'm gonna get full size that that worked I'm looking at the preview okay there's the original photo of the city so there's my focus band right in the middle and then the preview, this really works well because like the bottom part is out of focus, the back the the back part I guess is out of focus, or you know the distance is way out of focus, and then right in the middle it's completely focused. All right, so just click here to download your image, downloading the image, and here it is. This is the final image. So it enhanced the color, uh, and again I'm going to zoom in just to show you. See how it's kind of blurry, and as I go up, it's going to get real sharp right in the middle. You see how sharp that is in the middle? And then the background, of course, it's just blue sky, so it's not really blurred out. But the final effect makes it look like a miniature. So it's the Tilt Shift Maker. Again, tiltshiftmaker.com. Uh, you can figure this out. Uh, it's easy to use. You don't need to register. And uh, if you've always wanted to create your own miniature-like photos and you had photos laying around that, you know, maybe they kind of suck to begin with, maybe you can enhance them uh, by adding a Tilt Shift effect. Forget about installing software. Use a web service. Why not? That's kind of what it's there for. Now, if you have another cool web service to pass along, my email address is chris at perillo.com. I do read every email that comes in. I'm not able to answer all the questions. I may pass you along to geeks.perillo.com because the community certainly knows a heck of a lot more than I do. Uh, and that's, you know, kind of what I count on. It's part of this whole web experience, coming together, sharing ideas and things that we find. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed experience. All you got to do is stop by. Aware? Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.